guys here we are Sunday night magic let's go we're playing some multiplayer and I apologize it is a hundred percent my fault for uh, not getting a video up on time now on that note I was so busy apologizing I realized I have no white mana in my hand so we're going to pray pray for some white mana because that would be way more useful but we do have true fire paladin and we have fear of the bitten and bolt of kernos we got we got options um anyway my cpu fan has been having issues lately with keeping my cpu cold so i have not been able to render videos as quickly as i would like um that is a three color man that's pretty nice he's playing what colors red green black okay anyway i did not draw a mana which is unfortunate anyway so the videos are little bit shorter if I can help it and they are a little more sparse I will still bring you Sunday at magic every Sunday from now on do apologize about that I do have like three more scheduled upload as we speak so for sure the next three weeks there's the white man I've been wa wanting and the reason why that's fancy and special is because next week I have something called Sunday night magic live coming which is awesome that is actually even more awesome if you're the button on that card. Anyway, the reason why that's awesome is because we recorded a live Magic the Gathering match. Um, my buddy Sam held the camera and I played. It was an arch enemy match. So look forward to that. That's coming this Sunday. Uh, January 25th, I believe, is this Sunday? Something like that. Bloodgast? I hate that card. See? Blood gas can't block. It has haste as long as your opponent is 10 lice or l life or less. And whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may return blood gas from your graveyard to the battlefield. Good way just to keep cards coming at you. So, it does not have death touch, right? No. And it cannot block, so it does not matter either. Um, it's a little unfortunate I don't have... Hmm... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to play True Fire Paladin. We're going to keep Bolt of Kronos for a rainy day. We're going to attack with Train Caracal, and he can't block with it, so we're going to gain 3 life. I'll keep Coordinated Assault. Normally, I was just going to do it and be like, ha, 4 damage, bitch, but that doesn't, why would I use it now? I might as well try and get the full effect out of it when a Quarter Paladin, or when, sorry, True Fire Paladin is able to attack as well. And actually, next turn, I might buff True Fire Paladin and Train Caracal. Buff True Fire, Pal True Fire Paladin up, put Coordinate Assault on him and Train Caracal, because it's looking like I just got a really fast hand, so I think that's kind of going to be my goal this game, is just to blitz him down before he gets a chance to play anything nasty. Because let's be honest, uh, he's playing a lot of three-colored lands, which is interesting, actually. I wonder if it's just red and black, because... All of his lands have red and black in them. Hmm. There's an artifact. That is actually a very good artifact. I don't know. Maybe he is playing a rainbow deck. I've never seen one in Magic the Gathering Online, so... This is not Magic the Gathering Online. This is Magic 2015, but I have never seen one. So that would be interesting. Um, two damage. You know what? Hit me. I don't really care. Two. Come on. Two damage. I'm going to hit you for... Four, five, six, seven, eight, hopefully, is kind of the goal. Simic Guild Gate, okay. So let's just hit him for actually a lot of damage. Um, yeah. So we will buff him and keep one red. Just, just one. Keep one red safe for. Um, coordinated assault, and I actually have two red, technically. So what I might do is put Seder Hoplite on the field as well, and I'll still be able to coordinate assault when I attack. Now, if he has something that like screws attacking creatures, that could be bad. But I don't. Nothing comes to mind in this game anyway that can do that. I I mean I know there are things that can do that, but nothing comes to mind in this game in particular. Coordinated assault. There we go. So let's hit him for 9 damage. 
So we're doing this dex job, buffing creatures, whittling him down quick, very, very quick. In fact, if he does not do something next turn about me, he is going to die. Because I also have Bolt of Kranos, 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 I'm just going to call it Kranos, in my hand, kill a creature if I don't like it or him, like hit him with it, do three damage. The scry is also very, very nice. Um, plus, if he plays a creature I don't like necessarily, I can lay on and snare caster it, tap it, not have to deal with it. I prefer not to have to do any of that and just buff my true fire. Okay, so normally that would scare the shit out of me um, because that card is very, very good. But what we're going to do is just land and snare caster it so it can't block me and generate tokens for him and call it a day, actually. Uh, don't want to block? Yeah, screw it. I'll block with this. Why not? I guess. I don't see any problem with it. Yeah, he can regenerate. He can bring it back from the graveyard, but hopefully he doesn't live that long. There's another line. That's what I want to see. So Lennon Snarecaster's coming in the field, tapping that guy. God, I talk so much trash about Lennon and Snarecaster, but I shouldn't. He's a very good card. So let's see. It's three, six, seven, eight damage. Perfect eight damage. Um, we will attack with the sorcery because it is a sorcery. Let's see players him hit him with that scry let's see what we're getting rock slide elemental throw him at the bottom i don't care about him and actually if i was going to be in this game for the long run i would have kept that because then every time i kill one of his tokens from that rock slide gets stronger so i think this is it guys uh thank you so much for tuning in uh like i said i apologize for not having this video up on sunday like i said i would but just thank you guys so much for the support and watching the videos. And if you enjoyed this, hit that subscribe button for more every Sunday, including tons of other games. Um, I have videos going up four or five times a week, most weeks. So I hope you enjoyed. Any critiques you have, leave them below. I'd love to read them um, as long as they're useful and not just malicious. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Enjoy.